Republican presidential candidates are crisscrossing New Hampshire on this final weekend ahead of Tuesday's first in the nation primary. But a last minute endorsement in the Granite State could be a tough pill for Republican rivals hoping to topple Donald Trump after his convincing win in Iowa this week. Caitlin Huey Burns is in New Hampshire. Caitlin, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jeff. Well, the former president landed here in New Hampshire with the support of someone who once ran against him. It's just the latest sign yet that the Republican Party seems to be rallying around his campaign. We need a president who will unite our country. We need Donald Trump. Donald Trump got a boost from former rival Tim Scott, an endorsement designed to deliver a blow to Nikki Haley. I'm running against somebody from his state, so it's not, it's not that easy to do. But Haley is not only someone from Scott's home state, she also appointed him to the U.S. Senate when she was governor of South Carolina. <laughs> running a distant second in the polls here, Haley is targeting voters who may have soured on Trump. More of the same is not just Joe Biden, it's also Donald Trump. 70% of Americans don't want to see a Donald Trump, Joe Biden rematch. Trump is going on the attack. On social media, he falsely questioned Haley's eligibility to run for president and refers to her Indian ancestry, mocking her first name, Nimrata, although she's used her middle name, Nikki, all her life. She was born in the United States. Master, do you think that the attacks that Trump is waging against you are racist? I mean, look, I, I, I'll let, the, I'll let people decide what he means by his attacks. What we know is, look, he's clearly insecure. Oh, yeah. It's what? disgusting. Independent voter Dan O'Donnell says his vote for Haley is a vote against Trump. He asked Haley to assure him she would not join Trump's ticket as vice president. It's, just, it's totally off the table. She told you it's totally off the totally table. Totally off the exact, very adamant. Uh, totally uh, off the table. table. Haley said today she's staying through the South Carolina primary, where Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is trying to salvage his struggling campaign. As long as I'm in the hunt, um, that, that tells me that, I have, uh, that I'm seeing a pathway. And it does feel too early to talk about vice presidential candidates. Voters still have to weigh in on Tuesday. But Donald Trump engaged in that as well, saying that he would probably not uh, pick Haley as his running mate, telling supporters last night. Michelle. All right, Caitlin, stay warm out there.